Hello and welcome to this next episode of checking out submissions to the Dungeon Crawler Game Jam of April 2022. This time we will have a look at Restless Dungeon by Wolf Heat. And you can already see it's being played in the browser here. But before we uh, get into the game, we will first check out the webpage. Uh, the HIO page and before we do that I just remind you or um, I just want to mention that down in the video description you will find two links one is uh, for the HIO page uh, to download and play all these games and the other one uh, will lead to a playlist which contains all the different entries all the videos to the different entries I've made so far and um, the very first episode of that playlist is actually an explanation about uh, the dungeon crawler um, definition and the rules for the game jam. So let's have a look at the page here. The beginning. Dungeon crawler game intended for the dungeon crawler 2022 game jam that range between 8th of and 2 15th of April 2022. This will be my, my first real entrance in a normal game jam since I started with Unity earlier this year. My main goal is to complete this game so I can add it to my portfolio. I find game jams a great opportunity to both learn a lot about game creation as well as having a ton of fun. Alright. A few days in. Progress has been a bit slow. I spent one and a half day just trying to make my dungeon random generator work with a lot of features. Ended up satisfying with something that at least isn't horrible. Also added sounds and some fonts. Have been able to make some simple enemies but with no AI. Also created a menu with settings page and credits page. Only game mode is now ordinary game which isn't much of a game at the moment. Just some generation dungeon and random mobs walking into the mall. Ah, last few days. The process is taking a lot of energy and I'm starting to be a bit afraid that I won't be able to complete the game in time. However, I would like to at least make something decent enough to submit. Conclusions This jam has been an eye-opener for me. I have come far in the process of making games, but I still feel that I ended up far from where I hope to be with uh, this game. Well, seven days really isn't long. I mean, if I consider that sometimes if I'm make making a video, that I take like an hour just to find the right soundtrack or just to find the right background picture or something. That's really something you need to streamline, you, streamline, you need to, to really focus on the necessary to make it work. So uh, yeah, I can completely understand that uh, it's, uh, you might underestimate the time it takes. Um, um, I imagine that I would be able to complete a fast-paced action dungeon crawler with multiple weapons, enemies and effects along with a massive boss in the end of all its glory. However, fighting against Unity, which I do not yet know that well, but also with my, very, with my own code. Solving errors and figuring out bugs took me forever and it lost uh, me a lot of valuable time. One day were most lost making a randomized dungeon generator from scratch, which I ended up being only semi-usable. Yeah, that's, that's something which already came to my mind when I first read about the random dungeon generator. The issue is that um, there is some kind, I think there is some kind of, um, of issue with random dungeon generators. It's kind of, if you want to have a quick uh, or a small dungeon, it's probably better and easier to make a fixed version because a random dungeon generator, in order to make it work well, it's more effort than to have some hand-designed dungeon maps. Only if you have a big game concept and so on and so on, like multiple dungeons, different loot and whatever, so that it actually makes sense game mechanics-wise to have a random dungeon generator. And then the random dungeon generator also has, has to have a lot of, um, well, safety nets and so on, so that the, diff the distance has to be at least so and so long, um, that should not be the strongest enemy right at the start and so on. To make it right, it probably takes more work than a ha handcrafted dungeon. So, I mean, I'm not a programmer myself, but from my experience, I would say, a random dungeon generator only makes sense if you really know what you're doing and 
um, really know that you will be able to fit that in a seven day period or you already have something prepared like dungeon generator scripts or whatever you can implement into, um, into the g game you are freshly making in the jam. Alright, I guess I will try to make some kind of gameplay from what I've got, but it won't become a great game in the last few hours before the submission deadline. However, hopefully I can keep working on it afterwards, refining it into more of a game. For the next gem I'm entering, I will take that with me that I will need to make a better schedule. I really need to get better at knowing when to make what during the gem, so I end up actually finishing it with most of the essentials implemented. I do see the benefit of having a team during a jam. Sorry, this text is a bit messy, writing it with some sleep deprivation. I might come back to modify it tomorrow. Actually, I find it really nice to have this kind of um, info um, along with the game and you see like in w what circumstances it was made, like with, with what pr um, preconditions or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, really nice to have this um, explanation here. But uh, yeah, let's have a look into the game. All right, so let's check out the settings first. Uh, music volume, SFX volume. Uh, by the way, I really appreciate that it's not at 100% by standard. So you can actually increase that if you find out that it's not loud enough, which is always an issue if the standard value is set to 100%, then you have to fiddle around with Windows settings, which always sucks. So, a movement, WSD, turn QE, turn to strafe. Okay, maybe this like switches these around. Attack C1 or CL, no idea, and up. Pause, escape, um, and map is tap. Okay. All right, let's see then. An evil blob, okay. Okay, in this case, the music could maybe be a little bit louder. Can I... No, I can't get back. Okay, let me fiddle around now in the settings then. <laughs> All right. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so there is a mini map, which is cool. The um, f like what you can see, I think the uh, it's a bit well. You can't see the floor, and it's um yeah, you're very much directly in front of the wall, but you can't you you can see the wall right and left of you. So you have a little bit of. Like if I'm in here, you can see that on the left there is a wall, so the orientation is fine. Whether or not it is an issue that you can't see the floor, um, we will see in the rest of the game. Um, I like the very smooth and fast movement. And the game is also queuing up moves, so if I move forward and right, in this case, you can clearly see that it's queuing it up. It's not executing it right away, but it's queuing it up. So forward right, and then it's going forward and then uh, using uh, right turn. Or let's see what happens if I move forward twice. Yeah, it moves forward twice, even though the the first move is not finished yet. So that's, that's great. Um, you cannot hold the forward button, which is fine i mean the it's fast enough and it still feels nice so let's see uh. Come to me. yeah the combat is of course um rather silly but Back, back, back. Ah, there's actually a name of the enemy in the top. Need to pay attention to that. 
Also, you can't you can't move while attacking. Um, it's basically stuck while attacking. Blue enemy, and now we got green enemy, I guess. Green enemy. Um, with attacking, it's actually also queuing up, which is a little bit problematic. I mean, so uh, okay, but it's only queuing up one. Yeah, but because it's um, you are not able to move, it's it feels a bit weird. Okay, so I saw a comment already that there is no ending in the game, so we can probably go on forever. Let's see if we can find anything special. So there's um, uh, a white square in the next room. The enemies seem to randomly run around. They don't seem to... Okay, not quite sure. If if they are actively approaching, probably not. Maybe just if they are already in front of me. Actually, it's a way down. Okay. So let's see how far we can go. Okay, these seem to be stronger. is also decent. I mean, of course it's more of a background thing, but uh, but of course, as I mentioned before, these are like external resources. Not sure. I think it was mentioned there. Actually. Uh, let me quickly see. Uh, okay, no. It's not mentioned here what music has been used. Or other assets or whatever. Okay. So, apparently there's no way to heal up. So, um, at some point, we will, of course, die. And it also doesn't look like that there is any variation. I mean, the enemies are stronger now, but it's not like this would change anything. Actually, let me just run past them. Ha ha. Next one. Uh, let's see if there's another way down. Uh, 
Mm. Yes, uh, actually there is, we are in level 2, I see, I just saw the, like there are some stats on the top left, level 2 kills 97, but of course, um, yeah, and there is level 3. Uh, and probably they are even stronger now. One hundred. Yeah, of course there is also not really anything interesting to find here. I mean, wasn't that like... Uh, Mm. Yeah, with a gender random dungeon generator. Um, I mean, this is, I think, uh, always setting like the ending to the um, into the very last room, and of course, there's also always just one entry and one exit uh, to a room which is like the most uninteresting dungeon design you can have but um, yeah that's always the issue with uh, Random die well, yeah, procedural dungeon generation. Let me rescue myself into the next level. Actually, let's see what happens if we die. Oh. Okay, credits. Uh, scenario Wolfheart, Game Design, Wolfheat, Programming Wolfheat, Level Design Wolfheat, Sound Effects Wolfheat. Oh, alright. Fonts, Music Themes, Zap Splat, Sound Effects, Tool Use, Image Editor, Audio Editor. Okay. This was submission to the Dungeon Crawler Game Jam, and that's it. Alright. So, exit the game. Yeah, I mean, it was. Well, exiting the game didn't work that well, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, whoa, 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 actually, now we are, okay. Yeah, it's, it's just looping. I mean, what's supposed to do in a flash game? Um, so, as he mentioned already, or sh well, Wolfeed, I guess, he, um, it's, uh, it's an unfinished project. He didn't quite, um, he wasn't quite able to do what he intended to do. I think, um, yeah. Uh, I think I mentioned that in the beginning, the random or procedural dungeon generation is probably a bad idea unless you have already kind of set it up. You can see that there's actually a um, more interesting map which will actually get you stuck. Um, yeah, this was probably just put together to have something to show. Um, but of course this is just random squares basically, yeah. I think this takes too much effort to, to make unless you ha always, uh, you already have the process of generating like put together interesting modules and you just need to fill in the modules but have everything on else prepared already. Otherwise I, th I think a handcrafted dungeon is it's easier to do something which looks decent and is interesting to play. Um, and yeah, of course, with the... Um, um, in general, with, with the gameplay, I think it would have been nice if just one easy thing, just have like three levels and that the last level don't have an additional stair thing and just have something like a final boss or something and then you finish the game. I think that would have been a nice thing to just um, 
give it some, yeah, to, to round it up, what's the right word for that? To wrap it up. Um, and of course, some, like, I mean, there was no, nothing to, to the combat, so it could have been made interesting some way. And this m could have been made just like with the Splore game with healing potions, for example, so that sometimes you get some heal and, like, I don't know, red enemies drop red potions and you can manually drink them or something like that just to, to have some more interactivity besides of just bashing enemy skulls. But of course, being linear, linear, you can't do much besides of deciding whether or not you want to kill all the enemies or run past them. So that's basically uh, the only this thing you can decide here. Um, yeah, but I think that would have been like just some small things to make the combat a bit more interesting would have been nice in uh, nice in this context of the jam, of course. Otherwise, uh, you would of course need a bit more. So yeah, I think that. Probably, I mean, if there was like one, two more days, that might have been maybe in in the game. But I think this like procedural generation is just taking too much time. Um, but um, otherwise, nice submission and uh, from a wolf heat restless a dungeon, and that's it for today for this game. Um, if you like to see more, then check the playlist down in the video description with all the entries so far or subscribe to the channel to not miss any of the new editions. I thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.